Continuing our series of optimization problems, this time we want to find the best possible posture under certain constraints. More specifically, we are trying to have a rectangular posture, make the best possible rectangular posture that has top and bottom margins of 6 cm each and side margins of 4 cm each. The printed area of the poster is fixed and is 394 square centimeters and we want to find the dimensions of the poster using the least amount of paper, in other words with the smallest possible area. So we're looking for a rectangular poster, something like that, and we are going to look for the dimensions that minimize the surface area. So because we are looking for the dimensions, we are going to introduce letters for the dimensions, x and y, will be the dimensions of the poster. And then, uh, what else do we know? We know that the side margins are 4 cm, the top and bottom margins are 6 cm, so that means that the printed area looks like that. This printed area as a fixed area of 384 square centimeters. So this white rectangle inside is 384 square centimeters. We're looking for the smallest possible area. So in other words, we're trying to minimize the product XY, which is the uh, area of the whole poster. So what is the constraint here? The constraint is that the printed area is 384 square centimeters and we have fixed margins. The printed area is a rectangle and so this 384 square centimeters is the product of its sides. So the red side here multiplied by this blue side should be 384 square centimeters. You see that the red side is really just the full length of the poster X minus the side margins, 4 on each side. In other words, it is x minus 8. Similarly, the blue side is really the full length of the poster y minus the top and bottom margin. In other words, it is y minus 12. So our constraint can be expressed as x minus 8 multiplied by y minus 12 should be equal to 384. So now we have to minimize the function a that is xy under a certain constraint. The objective function a is here given as a function of two variables. As usual, we are first going to use a constraint to transform this function into a function of one variable. So to do that, we're going to solve, for instance, for y in the constraint. Right, so if I divide both sides by x minus 8 and then add 12 to both sides, I find that y is 12 plus 384 divided by x minus 8 and I can substitute for this value of y in a so a is x multiplied by this quantity in other words 12x plus 384x over x minus 8 now I have found my objective function a that I want to minimize as a function of one variable we want to minimize this function on the interval open interval 8 infinity y on this interval, x has to be at least 8, that is clear because we have 4 cm of margin on, e on each side, so x cannot be less than 8, and it is not clear whether there can be an upper bound on x because uh, we could have x very large and y very small, <coughs> as long as y is greater than 12. So this is what we want to do. And uh, we know that um, to find the minimum, we're going to have to study the function. In particular, look at the derivative, um, look for the critical points, potentially the intervals of increase and decrease. So the derivative, in this case, is derivative of 12x, which is 12, plus the derivative of 384x over x minus 8, which we obtained with the quotient rule. So we have derivative of the top, which is 384, multiplied by the bottom, x minus 8, minus 384x, which is a top and changed, multiplied by derivative of the bottom, which is 1. All this over the bottom squared. 
At the top, we have 384x minus 3072 minus 384x, so the 384x cancel out, and we get 12 minus 3072 over x minus 8 squared. Now we can solve the inequality a prime positive. Find out for what x the derivative is positive. It is the case if x minus 8 square is greater than 3072 divided by 12. 3072 divided by 12 turns out to be 256. And x minus 8 squared is greater than 256 if x minus 8 is greater than the root of 256, which is 16, is because we know that x minus 8 is positive. In other words, this happens when x is greater than 24. So now we have our function a that we want to minimize on the open interval at infinity, and we found that the derivative is positive exactly when x is greater than 24. Once we found the optimal x, we can find y because we have y in terms of x. So what we have found is that <coughs> the derivative is positive for x greater than 24 and negative for x less than 24 and of course greater than 8 because x less than 8 doesn't make sense. That means that the behavior of the uh, function giving us the area is this way, it is decreasing from 8 to 24 and increasing from 24 to infinity and therefore we have the absolute minimum of the function a for x equal 24. That means that the smallest poster is for x equal 24 centimeters. And then the second dimension is obtained by just plugging x equal 24 in the expression giving me y in terms of x. And that returns 36 centimeters. In other words, the best possible poster is 24 by 36. Now we're going to see a few more examples in the next video.